Welcome to Kama Jojo Wild World. You'll find the most exciting preys and the best outdoor equipment here. Deer are the most sought after quarry in the world of big game hunting. The majority of hunters in North America target this species. It's not easy to hunt deer if you don't know how they vary in appearance, though, because there are so many species. The following are some of the most notable variations between mule deer and white-tailed deer. Huge and terrifying, these four-legged beasts often strike awe and fear in the hearts of onlookers. Animals of similar types can be housed together to better understand their social dynamics. Among the four big game animals, the white-tailed deer is the most sought after. They populate the most regions worldwide as well. While whitetails typically aren't as large as mule deer, their antlers can get quite massive. More so than mule deer, elk, or antelope, they move very slowly and cautiously. In addition, their noses are among the finest of any animals. While hunting in Colorado, it's common for hunters to confuse a mule deer with a whitetail. Just compare the similarities and differences between these two species. Mule deer are one of the West's most recognizable wildlife species, second only to elk in popularity. A mule deer is larger than a whitetail, but they are smaller than an elk. The appearance, size, behavior, and other characteristics of mule deer are distinct from those of white-tailed deer. Whitetails are more likely to remain in one location for an extended period of time, but mule deer will travel to different areas in search of the best food and water sources. They don't tend to stay put for very long. In terms of the animals we've researched, mule deer rank near the top for their relative quietness. Almost only antelopes maintain a low profile. The two species can be easily distinguished by their distinctive tails. These two types of deer can be easily distinguished from one another by examining their tails. A mule deer has a white back and a black tip to its tail. A white-tailed deer's tail is black at the tip and brown at the base, but its back is a different color. Only when the deer raises its tail, a behavior known as flapping, does the white tip reveal itself. There is a white underside to a white-tailed deer's tail, hence the name. Both the white-tail and the mule deer have distinctively different antlers. The bucks of these two species are very different in this respect. The antlers of a white-tailed deer typically branch out from a central beam with single talons. At the point where they branch from the main beam, the antler points of a mule deer actually become two separate points. The ears of a mule deer are also larger than those of a white-tailed deer. This deer got its moniker because its ears resemble those of a mule. White-tailed deer ears are large, but not as large as mule deer ears. Thanks for your time. You can subscribe to us if you like what we do.